Now, moving on as the world celebrates the World Youth Skills Day, Nigerian youths have been urged to embrace skills acquisition, while the government have been called on to create an enabling environment, most especially in respect to power, in order to help the youths excel. This call was made in a commentary by ACNN correspondent Wanne Ogechuku. International days are occasions to educate the public on issues of concern, to mobilize political will and resources to address global problems, and to celebrate and reinforce achievement of humanity. On this day, the UN is observing the World Youth Skills Day. Skill development is a critical part of preparing for work in the future. My name is Hakitsu Dehelo Abusayo Elizabeth, the creative director for Lisby Clothing. We sew bridles, ready to wear, male clothes, female clothes. My name is Victoria Jonathan, the CEO of um, VSK Train and Bridal Link, also the CEO of um, Rich Bridles and Events Management. My name is uh, Chibuzo Obiyo. I'm a mechanic by professional. My name is Ake Aluko. I run a company, Gala Technology Limited. We are in Tri City training we train on desktop publishing system maintenance the aim of world youth skills day is to encourage youth to celebrate the value of acquiring skills like building making and creating as a way to achieve personal success and fulfillment however due to increasing unemployment and inequality in our society these skilled young individuals are left behind skills acquisition, skills training, skills development for youths. But once you have something you can fall back on, then uh, you are engaged for life. Uh, doling out money is not a solution to uh, youth development or youth engagement. So we should be able to uh, identify their talents, their crafts, and where such is lacking, we should be able to have centers to get these youths to acquire knowledge, acquire skills, to engage them in lifelong uh, pursuits for their own good and for the good of the society. I strongly advocate that um, government should revisit our schools because uh, one of the key things that one should take out of education is the fact that education helps you to overcome poverty. And for you to overcome poverty, as um, a young graduate, you should come out of school with two key things, either employability skill or entrepreneurial skill. Young, talented engineers, computer engineer guys, that no matter the problem of your system, they can solve it. They gather somewhere in zone three sometimes ago. But government came, scattered them, and demolish the place, all in the name of building a modern market. But if you go to that place down, it is Bush that occupied the place. I think the government policy should be encouraging. To raise awareness regarding such a significant problem, United Nations designated July 15th as World Youth Skills Day. This day helps highlight the current rising unemployment among youth and what steps need to be taken so that the situation is controlled globally. Where you have the government not providing the enabling environment is a challenge to whoever has acquired a skill, um, especially when it comes to power. You know, in this country we have power deficit, and uh, there are lots of people who, instead of going for white collar jobs, are picking up little things to do. But if you don't have that enabling environment, especially with regard to power, they get frustrated. So the government has a role to play so that uh, people don't just focus on white collar jobs. Technology and future of jobs shows that since 2017, there has been an upward trend in the number of youth not in employment, education, or training. The United Nations, at its General Assembly in November 2014, declared 15th July as World Youth Skills Day. 
What skills is proud to be part of a global recognition and promotion of skills as it advises youth all over the world to embrace education and skills? I am Wanne Ogechku.